How's it going? I just did like a full two minute studio update and didn't notice that the red light wasn't on. So now it's on. Begin. Hi, how's it going? I just had a granola bar. I've got stuff in my teeth, so I'm kind of digging it out with the tongue, as one would do. Um, today is day seven in the rock and roll studio here, Valve Studios, Dallas, Texas, and um, uh, it's been awesome. We had a good weekend. We worked a half a day yesterday, and then uh, we had a little get-together, watched the Lakers lose in the NBA Finals, Game 2, which we were excited about, so... We're not necessarily Boston Celtics fans, but we're we're excited when the not Lakers win. So all of our peeps in LA, sorry about that. Still love you, but um, you know, as OK Go once said, get 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 over it. <laughs> That's right. Modern music reference there by me. Um, so I just was playing some guitar on a song called Fringe Chicks Guitars. <laughs> actually my first run through of that song and so I was uh, I haven't played it in a few days so <laughs> it was not all that great but um, anyway um, things are going well we're excited about all these songs the uh, some people have been emailing asking why Chris isn't in the uh, updates Chris was here first few days and he actually doesn't live near the studio so he kind of comes in later and does all his stuff in one day, or sometimes two over like a couple of days, depending on how things are going. But at this point, we have to start putting vocals on every day so that we're not like trying to sing a whole album in three days or whatever, which can get a little difficult. So we break it up into just trying to get bare bone minimum parts of songs down and then um, start rocking the mic, so to speak. So. Um, I'm running out of things to say on these. Are these getting boring a little bit? Or, um, I don't know. Think about that. Sometimes whenever someone drives by on a really loud motorcycle, I feel sorry for them because they're obviously making up for a small member, if you will. Right now, Eric's tuning. Would you like to hear how awesome it is to hear? Oh, he may not be tuning anymore. He may actually be playing. Hold on. Let's take a look. By the way, that singing that you just heard there, that's not like the real thing. That's just that's one of those scratch tracks that we talked about. And uh, that one is not so strong. I'm not sure how much of that song you should hear. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Or do you? Here at Valve Studios, proudly on display, there's some awesome art. Here's a silver record from the United Kingdom, if you will. This is presented to Casey Dioria. This is after we had sold 60,000 copies. Here's a gold record, Bowling for Soup. Um, when my camera work today is sucking the big one. Here, I see. Okay, there we go. And then also one for Freaky Friday here. The reason why Casey has these is because some of the work that we did, we did the demos for Drunk Enough to Dance right here at, um, at this rock and roll studio. And uh, Hangover You Don't Deserve, we actually did a lot of the demos here. Uh, and, well, no, all the demos here. But we actually did a lot of the writing here, too. We rented this place for like a month 
and um, I would write in the mornings, and then we would rehearse the songs in the afternoon and then come up with our big list. And then the song, the Britney Spears cover of uh, Hit Me Baby One More Time was done right here at Valve Studios. Little, um, We've actually never done a whole record here, but we've done a bunch of our B-sides here. So usually if you have like one of the import things or you've managed to get songs that didn't make the record, a lot of times they were done here. Um, but we do a lot of our film and TV stuff here. So the song that we had in Scooby-Doo, Here We Go, and the song that we did um, for Gilligan's Island, the real Gilligan's Island was done here. So a lot of that film and TV stuff. As well as sometimes if I don't, if I'm working on a Phineas and Ferb song, um, I will come here and do that if I can't be in L.A. So I try to go out to L.A. when I can to do that. Um, but otherwise I do it right here, Val Studios. Right there. There's their logo. Learn it. Know it. Love it. Boop. Hey, buddy. What's up? Dude. How's the bass guitar going today? It's going so good that it looks like an acoustic six string. That's, no, you, that's how good it's going. Listen, don't. That, nobody's going to get that comedy. Okay. I was, I'm really trying to be informative. It's, it's actually going better. We have a we have a system now. You can be honest. And we've worked out. Be honest. Well, it's actually now going better than it was. Earlier. Okay, but earlier. Earlier it was going. It was it was shit. It, yeah. was, it was really shit. We're having some uh, issues between uh, guitar tuning and bass tuning and third second guitar tunings, and it all just sounded like ass. And now we've got it all figured out and uh and it's working much better and we just uh set up a very nice system that, that is getting us through it all and we didn't do the system on the last one and we it bit us in the ass and so now we are back on track and uh, should should be going much more smoothly now here's the thing if you don't know this if you've never been bitten on the ass that shit hurts that's the thing. So unless it's uh, one of those ass bites that you have to pay twenty five dollars for in Amsterdam, <laughs> right. and, then, and th those are kind of exciting. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I don't know anything about that. Uh, but yes, so we're almost to the end of day seven, and we have gotten a lot of stuff done. Finally, we had some computer issues uh, for the second day, but I think we've got all those glitches worked out and. Um, some tuning issues that we had to work through. Again, as Eric was saying, it's different guys play differently. So, you know, if the tuning, if you're all tuning on the same tuner, but you tune differently and blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, it's like once you're on tape, it's under a microscope and you want it to be perfect. So we got to figure it figured out and we're rocking. So we'll check in tomorrow. I'm actually going to start posting these blogs like the day after, the morning after. So this will come in on day eight. But, uh... Anyway. <laughs>